Okay, well, welcome back. Uh, John McDonald here again. Okay, we're going to look at position this time. So, uh, if you remember, we're breaking the system down here. So we're now going to look at here now position. And you'll see I've put down position down P for vision. P so that others can see you, which is position so that others can see you. Position so that you can get vision. And this one here, position for safety. And um, we'll come to this one in a moment. So let's explain what this really means. When you're uh, on the road with your motorcycle, you need to be in the optimum position at all times. Remember, go back to the colour coding system, you need to be in the green part of the road. That's the green part, that is the right part, that's where you should be. Not the red part, that's, that's where you should, definitely shouldn't be on the too far to the left or to the right. The amber, you're kind of close, but still not quite right. We should be in the green zone. So, let's break these down. Position for vision. Your position on a motorcycle should be a position that should try and give you the optimum vision. Around the left hand bend, for example, position towards the right helps to extend your vision around that bend. Around the right hand bend, position more towards the near side, extend your vision around that bend. Okay, yeah, so an example, position for vision here. If you sat back from the lorry, for example, instead of getting too close behind it, then you can see past the lorry. If you move towards the near side of the lorry, around the left hand bend, for example, you might get vision up the side of the lorry, you get the idea. So we try and position so we can get the maximum vision. We also try to position so that others can see us. Now that's important. So coming at a junction, for example, on the near side, junction on the left, if I'm positioning tucked into the left, and that's a closed junction, blind junction, that driver's maybe not going to see me till the last moment. But by positioning out to the right, I'm making myself more visible to that driver. Remember we mentioned the other night, the lorry driver? If I sat back from the lorry or the bus, I'm getting vision. If I can see their mirrors, they can see me. So my position now is allowing them to see me as well. All right, so always ask yourself, is the position that I'm in at the moment, am I making myself visible to other people or am I hiding myself? Often you'll see the motorcyclist maybe come up a dual casualty, for example, to overtake and then sitting in the car or the vehicle alongside them's blind spot. Now that driver can't see you and they might forget you're there and then just suddenly move over. So ask yourself, the position I'm in at the moment, does it enable other people to see me? And does it allow me to see? Now, there's three P's. This P here, position for safety, overrides the other two. All right. So for example, going at the right hand bend, whilst my appropriate position might be towards the left to extend my vision around that bend, if there's a near side junction on the left, and I can't see into that junction, it's a closed junction, my positioning for safety now is not in there towards the left hand side extending my vision around the bend. My vision now is going to be more out towards the right or towards the off side because that's taken me further away from the junction um, so that if anyone does pull out, I'm in a position now where I'm away from them. Also extends my vision into the junction so I'm going to be able to see them and they're going to be able to see me. So it's helping me for position for the junction on the near side. And what I've now done is not only made it safer, but I've also helped my vision into the junction and I've made it so the people coming out the junction can see me. Once I've passed the junction, of course, I'm maybe going to go back towards my normal uh, near side position for a right hand bend. So you're always thinking here about position so for safety, and that overrides the other two. All right? Now, while I'm riding along, I'm thinking, am I in the best position to see, and am I in the best position to see uh, for people to see me? But always asking myself, and is this the safe position? Now, sometimes I might want to be in a certain section of the road. Because that gives me good vision, it would let other people see me. But if it means running over loose grit and gravel, for example, then that's not going to satisfy P for safety. So P for safety, always at the top. And uh, you need to satisfy all three criteria, but position for safety overrides other two. Now, briefly on this one, it's going to be a shorter video. Um, in order to be able to position a motorcycle and make a motorcycle move, you need to be able to um, use a technique called counter steer. Now, I'm going to break that down more when I look at this uh, bike control. Um, but you need to be able to make the motorcycle lean from side to side and make it move and we do that through a combination of counter steer in fact 90% of your steering on a motorcycle is done through the pressure on the bars and we'll look at that next is your actual body position and how your body position is going to actually help you to be able to move your bike from side to side uh, for example also using the balls of the feet has, uh, can have an effect on it as well and pushing even pushing your knees into the pedal tank so for example when I, if I'm racing for example and I'm Gonna hang off the side of a motorbike, um, and it's a left hand bend. I've got my inside knee pushing into the pedal tank, and I've got my left foot pushing down on the inside peg, and that's all assisting me to make the bike move and alter its position. Now, when you're on a racetrack, you're a lot more animated, you're going faster, you need quick changes of direction, 
uh, and that's why you need to get a lot more animated on a motorcycle. It is absolutely unnecessary out on the roads. In fact, you'll see a lot of police uh, motorcycle riders are very, very stationary and literally from the waist up, um, <laughs> sorry, waist down and waist up, there's literally no movement. It's all done mostly through the bars. So there's no need to get as animated and behind off the side of a motorcycle, etc, etc. That's only when you're going for more extreme forms of riding track riding which I've done for a number of years, been eight times Scottish champion racing motorcycles as well so so yeah I'm a lot more animated when I'm on a racetrack but on a road I tend to sit just fairly fairly still the motorbike department. So there you go, that's positioning. Um we'll do another video. Next one we're gonna look at is we're gonna look at speed. Now don't forget I'm just giving you wee short bits of information here, try to get your mind working. Um we'll we'll look at more as we go through. Alright, okay, there we go. Thank you.